If you watched my previous video, there's currently a bug on the airblade when your attack speed reaches 1.34 and above. I will not forget there's a trick to make it work. Just keep holding the joystick towards the direction where you are dashing. Do not release until you've executed the airblade. You can actually move in any direction you want, but apparently, it's easier when you move and dash in the same direction. Then perform a quick third first ult. If you get one stack after the combo, that means the airblade is successful. This works because there's a mechanic that allows you to extend the time you can execute the circular first skill after using your third skill. For example, if you use third, then stop for 0.3 seconds, then use first skill. There will be no spin. But if you do this while moving, Yasuo will still perform a spin. You can extend the time by about 0.3 seconds. You can slightly change direction when doing this. With the help of your teammates, you can execute the airblade as soon as you hit level 5. Champions with knockup such as Malphite, Lee Sin, Xin Zhao, Blitzcrank, and more. It's easier to execute airblade with your teammates knockup because you do not need to wait for your first skill's cooldown. Just reserve it when your teammate is about to knock up the enemy. Then cast your third first ult combo when you see the knockup. You can add auto attack when you are near the enemy, depending on the knockup duration. Keep in mind that there are champions with very short knockup time, you need to react quick or just use ult without airblade so you won't miss the chance. In the previous video, I mentioned that the lowest possible cooldown of Yasuo's first skill is 1.3 seconds. But it's not specific enough. You can actually reduce the cooldown to 1.33 seconds. Which is not displayed. If you look at the cooldown, you won't be able to tell if you have 1.33 or 1.39 seconds cooldown. I did some experiments. Instead of looking at the cooldown, you should look at your attack speed. 1.27 attack speed is equivalent to 1.39 seconds cooldown. While 1.44 attack speed is equivalent to 1.34 seconds cooldown, and so on. You will be able to reach 1.44 attack speed when you have Phantom Dancer or Static Shiv and Blade of the Ruined King and level 15 Cham. You will see how useful is this cooldown in the next chapter. This is a trick to cast Airblade without looking at your first skill cooldown, so that you could focus on the enemy and the situation. This varies depending on how much attack speed you have. First, let's start with 1.28 attack speed and below. With this attack speed, you can execute Airblade when you hit your tornado at max range. Focus on the knocked up target, when the target hits the ground, that's the time you should cast your Airblade. exactly on hit, or when it's about to hit the ground. After the knockup, you'll see that you still have a short time to cast your ult. It's also indicated by these arrows. This time is enough to cast your airblade. Even if you focus on another target, you can still see the knockup animation on your peripheral vision. With this, you can easily execute airblade without looking on cooldowns.
Next will be 1.40 attack speed and above. With this attack speed, you can execute Airblade when you hit your tornado at mid-range. Same as before, execute the Airblade when the target hits the ground, or when it's about to hit the ground. Another method is to look for the knock-up duration bar. When it's at this level and below, you can cast your Airblade. Use which method you prefer. By the way, you can execute Airblade with a solo target. It's easier when you have boots and higher attack speed. Finally, 1.44 attack speed and above. With this attack speed, you can execute Airblade at close range. Same as before, execute the Airblade when the target hits the ground, or when it's about to hit the ground. Also with 1.44 attack speed, if you hit a tornado at max range, you can cast Airblade as soon as the knockup starts because your first skill cooldown is already less than 0.6 seconds at that point. Practice these tricks on the practice mode first. Here's how I set my runes. You should change your resolve rune depending on the enemy team composition or your lane matchup. Here's my latest build on Yasuo.